Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name's Vin PF, and on today's episode, we've got something which is not a whiskey, and it's probably one of the first times I've ever done that since I did some gins right at the start. This here is a Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey Honey Liqueur. I'm not really sure why I decided to cover this. My friend has a bottle of this, this is his bottle, and he thought you should, I should give it a go. So I thought, why not? I'll bring it onto the channel, see if it's any good, and uh, see if you guys should buy it. It's been around since around uh, 2011, 35%. So obviously, you know, we're not talking about a whiskey here. We're not talking about a bourbon. There are, <laughs> it just, it really isn't any of those things. What it is, is a honey liqueur mixed with some of the old Jack Daniels number seven, the standard Jack Daniels, which although I haven't covered on the channel, I really don't like. Uh, it was a flavor that I grew heavily against when I was a younger man and I got quite drunk on it when I shouldn't have and now the kind of flavour of it really puts me off. So I'm kind of dreading trying this a little bit just in case it's, it's too much on the Jack Daniels side and not enough on the honey side but we'll see when we get into it shall we. It's about £25 in the UK as well so it's you know it's competing with quite a lot of other stuff at that sort of price range. So if, if, uh, if you look into it as an alternative for whiskey it really isn't but um, for I guess what it's meant to be it's a pretty reasonable price and, and a bit of an upgrade from the number seven for fancy stuff. But you know, probably not the best idea to try it neat, but um, let's go into it anyway and see what we got. Wow, Ooh, it's got a really strong nose. It's a really, really sweet, obviously. Obviously a lot of honey as well, I should say. But it's, it's kind of like a medicinally thing to it. It's like a, like a cough syrup kind of, kind of smell. But its overriding smell is maple syrup by a long, long, long way. Let's try on the palette. Oh, you know what? If I didn't know that it was Jack Daniels, I don't think I would get that kind of flavour profile from it. I wouldn't have been able to pick it out blind. The honey liqueur part, definitely. You're getting bags of that. It's so sweet, so honey loads more of that maple syrup. It's quite thick as well, which is good. Not quite actually a syrup, so you couldn't use this as an alternative to maple syrup. Funnily enough, going off piece to second, I have tried the uh, Whistle Pig maple syrup, and that thing is beautiful. You could actually just drink that, but it's so thick, it's unreal. Back to this. I actually don't mind it. It's It tastes like something that I have tried before a long time ago, but it's kind of like a like a survival drink, you know. I'm pretty sure somebody brought it out to me when I was on the uh, 16th hole of a terrible game of a go of golf, and they're like, "Yeah, have this. This will cheer you up a little bit." And it's that kind of thing. It's very, very cough syrupy. Mm. Not actually that bad at all. Not actually that bad at all. I wouldn't have it around. I'm going to eagerly give that back to my friend because um, I don't think I would keep this around. I don't think I would want to drink it on a daily basis or even irregularly. I'm too into my whiskies. But that said, I do like sweet whiskies, and it's nice to have something that's a little bit different, kind of change the flavour profile up a little bit. But if you don't like sweet things in any way, shape or form, this definitely isn't for you. But, you know, if you do, I think it's worth a go. One of those little silly episodes where it's not really a whisky, but, you know, these things have to be tried, I think. And this is what part of the channel is, to mess around with what is nonsense and what isn't nonsense. And although this started out acting like it would be nonsense, it turns out it's not actually that bad. But still, unfortunately, I don't recommend it unless you're into these sorts of things in the first place.